All right, good morning, Conley clan. We are up early as usual, trying to get the uh, the birds arranged and kids going for the day. Got our first uh, first child up, and uh, the second is getting up. Chris or uh, Logan is just about ready to get out of his crib. So I thought you I'd, I'd bring you guys along and show you what this looks like. Are you ready for this? Yep. No. <laughs> Okay guys, today we are letting a bunch, like a hundred of our birds out. <clears throat> and I just thought I'd bring you along and show you. Raya's been out here letting them out and counting them. And we have got a lot of them feeling freedom for the first time, which is really cool. How many have you gotten counted so far? We let 65 out. 65 are out, huh? Yep. So far. We're starting to let the red set place out. Good. Cat doesn't seem to mind at all. She just got done eating a lizard or something. They are out free ranging for the first time, which is so cool to watch. The cats seem to play with the birds, but there's never been a casualty due to a cat. Thank goodness. We let the ducks out today, which I think they're going to be um, an asset to have out here because of their black. I think the uh, chicken hawks and Predators will think they might be uh, crows and leave the area alone. That's what we're hoping. I think we're going to take them our meat birds, which they are so fat, it's unbelievable to hold them. I think they're like three and a half feet old. But uh, they're going to go in this bigger kennel, I think, today. So they all get a little bit more of a taste of freedom today. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, guys. What's going on in there? Um, it's the long, the long nest in here. Well, you guys watch out for poison ivy and poison oak, okay? Yeah. It's all over there. And there's thorns, okay? Okay. Ooh, is that a uh, locust? Yeah, we'll Gross. Look back here. Are you ready? The cat's getting a little too uh, much fun out of this. She needs to be exposed to him though because you don't want her any bigger than she is right now, the kitten. Wanting to eat them. She's got her own fun. Well, the male's trying to get her pop on that one. Oh, yeah. Get him. Okay. You're letting them all out then? Yep. Good. Four. Four. And. Boy, right, this is the first they really ventured out. teach them to stay away from this outer boundary here. This is not our land across that fence line, so I don't want them feeling like they can go over there. Yeah.
I think Raya has her favorites. <laughs> yeah, that one's my favorite. Yeah, this one's Jade's favorite. It's oh, pretty. it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is Americana. Is that what that is? Yeah. So that's a... Uh, Oh, the, the duck got out. Oh boy, you better get them. <laughs> He's gonna chase, we'll chase the, uh, the female ducks. All right, so these can go around, of course, eat. All they do is eat. Eat and drink, eat and drink and grow, don't they? I think they'll do better in here. Yeah, I do too. Okay. <laughs> There should be four in there, right? Five. Maybe look at them a little bit when you're bringing them over, Jade. So that we know if they're injured, you might want to separate them. Or... Yeah. I know there is. They one. love it in there. Look at that, Jade. Yeah. On fire. Oh no. Throw that away in the back of the truck, please. Can you climb up there and put it up there? Or is that too high for you? You got it? Yep. All right, thank you. I'm going to be a cat in all the middle of this. It's got to be crazy. Going against every instinct she has not to eat them. That's blood. Yeah. What do you want that to do? That one needs to go in here. There's nothing in it. That's all right. Well, it needs probably a friend. It needs some water and food. Yeah. Well, are you ready for this? Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's early. It's beautiful out here, though. It's uh. It's actually kind of cool out. Yeah, it's probably what seventy. Yeah, probably for the next Horse, five minutes. Horses are out already. So nice out here. Is it nice? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's start by turning this on and getting oh, some yeah. fresh water for these guys. Yep. This is for the dogs and the birds. This is usually how we do it. It's a, it's a tough shot there, but it fills, fills them up anyway. Are they better now? Are they full, Kristen? Can we turn it off? Yep. Okay. Yep, they're full. Oh, there's some cobwebs. <laughs> it's fun when you walk into a spider room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I always yell at the kids about shutting the gate, so I better shut that. First thing will happen is the kids will let the dogs out, and then they'll come out here and cause trouble with the birds. No casualties last night, I hope. They all look okay. Look These are our broiler chickens. That we're actually going to crossbreed with another one. So they will probably, most of them will stay on the farm. Ready? Yep. Be free. Look at, they're not as uh, leery about it this morning. No, and they're uh, they're balanced on their feet better. Yeah. They were so fat the other day. When we first let them out in free range, they could hardly walk. It's kind of sad. Yeah, so look. we know next time we'll we'll let them do a little free ranging before they get this weight. Dad. They gain weight like I swear what a half a pound a day. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh -huh. Not quite that much, but a lot. What do you think, buddy? I'll have to get a uh, 
one of our What's Plymouth down, Rock yeah. roosters and show the size difference. Yeah, the ones we're gonna crossbreed with. Yeah. All right, these guys are gonna stay in there for now. They're too little. That one's good. This one's got an injury. We're trying to let it recoup a little bit and heal without the interference of the other birds pecking on it. Are you ready for this one? All right, ready? Let's see what these guys think. <laughs> <laughs> so they're ready. I think we've turned into chicken farmers. <laughs> we all of them but a couple. All right, well, all these guys are out. Did we put the ducks away last night? Yes, I had Jay do it. Good. And now the work starts. Yep. Fill these up with water and food. And I'd, actually, we're not going to feed them this morning. Nope. We're going to wean them off. I'll put them in now. They actually still have food left in here, though. Do they really? Quite a bit. Yay! We really need bigger waterers, but for now. Okay. <laughs> These two can just probably be left out here for now. Okay. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this roll needs to be hung. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And they haven't been drinking, so... Yeah, these cleaned out. That happens every night, I feel like. They just get it so dirty. Hi, guys. What other one needs filled up over here? Um, I think that's it. Those are That's all the waterers we have. crackers at? Oh, in my tummy. Oh, <laughs> you ate them all? <laughs> <laughs> when this little guy wakes up, the first thing he has to do is have something to eat. <laughs> Usually, what do you do? You hide breakfast bars under mom's bed. So you, <laughs> so you can lay next to my bed and eat a breakfast bar, right? <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So silly. Oh, look at the birds are fighting for their pecking order. Those two, I think, are actually brothers. No, not those two. They're jumping around. Yeah, they're jumping around. They're saying, 
I'm in charge. Who is that? A chicken. Mama, what is that noise? That's an owl, I think. Yeah, I think it is. It's getting ready for bed. Ready for bed? Yeah. Me? Owls sleep during the day. Mom, I I'm going to get some dogs. Okay, Mom? Okay. But I just got to put on my wife. These guys are pretty hungry, boy. Yeah. No, buddy. Okay. Say one, two, three, five. One, two, three, go. Whoa, good job. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Ready, Mama? Ready. I'm going to jump on the top. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go. See that? I saw that. One of the casualties of bringing the coffee out here is you lose it to the bugs usually, but this morning, I think you don't lose it to the birds. <laughs> I think the birds yep. want some caffeine. <gasps> Are there bugs in there? Oh, yeah. No, yes, it is. Oh. Okay. I guess not that cup. <laughs> nope. Should we let the, the new duckies out? Yeah, we put them in our white chicken coop. What? Should we Why? let them out? Why? Because. Are the chickens in there? Yeah, the chickens are in there too. Uh, why? <laughs> they had to have a safe place to go at night. Oh. 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 Why? Out there. This is the duck's first night in uh, their new coop. And I'm curious to see how how they come out. <laughs> they probably made this very smelly now, stinky. I know they probably did. Here they come. Here she goes with her snack. <laughs> oh, here comes Roo, the rooster. He's <laughs> gonna go check out what the new birds are doing. They'd used that to get the ducks in last night. Oh, the did they? <laughs> Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go look and see how the tire's doing. Cat, I think it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> what? The reality is of having an ATV out here. Yeah, you're right. Flat. Flat tires all the time. Flat tire. Flat tire. Oh no, Kristen, we can't ride on the mule. No, you went on the beach. It's got. I'll take it to the beach today. It's got a flat tire. Well, but we need to get the air for it. Yeah, you're right. It looks like the other one stayed up today. 
We need to probably When's fill that? this. Oh, you're right. We have another one to fill. We forgot. <clears throat> Normally, we have a couple kids that help us with chores, but everybody has, like, Emma has the kittens, and Jade has the big birds, and Lena has the littler birds. But uh, we decided, since we were out here doing the other birds today, that we were going to go ahead and just do their chores for them. So, you guys ready to come out? <laughs> there they go. Well, what should we do now, Christian? Um, what do we have left to do? Anything? Um, we go look at our watermelon before we go in. See if it's time to. Ooh. Pick it. Ooh. But, I, I want to do it. You want to look? Well, we don't want to pick it unless it's ready. Okay. Okay. Um, um, Jay took on on the watermelon. Yeah. The blue one. You good? Yeah. The me Okay. these trails. Is that from the fire ants? That's the fire ant trail. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Do you see down there the fire ants? They have created their own trail. Their own highway system. To walk on, which is kind of nuts. They're coming Watch out, this is yeah. really active now. Wow, look at that. All the way to their nest. We need to uh, see if we can do something about that. Whoa! Careful! Ooh, Don't let, let them get on you. They bite. Have you ever been bit by a fire ant? Yeah. Does it hurt? No. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but it hurts on my boots. It hurts on your boots? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we wear boots. Well, one of the many reasons. Yeah. Uh, uh, I love the mule today. You want to go on the mule? Yeah. Okay, well, here's our messy garden. I don't know if they're going to make it. You know, we just totally shut off the water. To yeah. them. That one has ants all over it. But this one looks good. Should we pick it? I don't know. It sounds awful hard. Okay. Hear it? Yep. We need to come out and clean this up. Yeah, we do. Definitely need to clean the garden up. Yeah. What? Look at it! What is it? What'd you find? Get cool bottle. Water. Did it get gross again? Yeah, da, da, da. We, we, we gotta clean that out. Yeah, you're right. So here's our fruit trees. This is our mandarin fruit tree, which the... I was actually thinking about planting another one right here next to it. Daddy, Daddy made these. God made them. So that one's doing pretty good. It's getting See big that? and fluffy, I feel like. They're starting to curl a little. I'm guessing that's a sign they need rain, water. So. Yeah. I think we've actually been watering these ones properly. We've been doing a real super slow but deep water on them, uh, which is what I found in my research when I looked them up. And this one, we, we have trimmed it up a little bit just because some of the branches weren't looking too good. And that is our... I think it's a blood orange tree, and those are a little bit bigger oranges. That one you can tell needs a little bit of water. We, we're doing it about once a week, giving them a real deep water. And then this one over here is our Meyer lemon tree, and that one's looking pretty good too, I feel like. So the trees seem to be doing really well, and we seem to be okay there. Uh, at least we know we can grow something here in South Texas.